evening everyone how's your day i've had a quite a lot well not a lazy day because i have been out i've been back i've done some transcripting typing some scrums transcripts up and i've done some recordings on my cute my cute little like dictaphone recorder you know what i mean it's smaller than my hand i can get it in the palm of my hand my hands are very small and i can get it in the palm of my hand i love it love it love it love it so thank you for all everyone on x being here and on youtube thank you thank you thank you thank you I really appreciate you. Um, what the hell is going on with Jay Slater? What the hell? I've just been going through some YouTube videos and I come across one and I was watching on the TV there, this one. Hold on, hold on. Right, I'm back. Um, I was watching on the TV, and he's a guy who does, like, mountain climbing and things like that. And he, he, record, he goes on TikTok, or I think he goes... I believe he's a big TikToker. And he puts videos on there, just short videos and things like that. And, um... Anyway, he was on a charity thing... Up in Scotland, good old Scotland. Because Scotland's got the mountains. So has Wales. Wales got some lovely views, lovely mountains down in Wales as well. But Scotland's known for the high courtesy and things like that. So he's doing this uh, charity thing to raise money for some organisation up in Scotland. And then he's been called away to go to this Jay Slater. Now he said, if anyone wants to donate to him, don't donate to him. Donate him. He's put the link in out there to this organisation where the money will, to this charity where, where the money will be sent to that organisation. Which I think is a good thing. Right? And uh, anyway, he's gone over to Tanya Reef. He's been over there a few days now. And apparently yesterday or the day before, the, big, the Spanish, whatever, put, put a call out for volunteers, but they had to be qualified. They had to know what they were doing on these mountains. It couldn't just be someone like me or some random TikToker or some random YouTuber. No, you had to know what you was doing. You know what I mean? And apparently, <laughs> from what I was hearing, only six, six people turned up. Six. And I thought, you know what, Ten, whatever you are, whoever you are over there, this is your own fault now. Because UK, the UK, the British people said they wanted to send a team out there. To help with the search. Now, it wasn't just their regular police. It was the search team. People who are used to searching in mountainous ravines and all that lot. They're not going to send, send any old Tom, Dick and Harry over there. And they said, no. So now, whatever they call them over there, the police over there, you're on your own. You're on your own. And you're putting call out for volunteers who are qualified in this and you get six people turning up. But you see, the thing is, they put the call out one day saying, I don't know when it was for, I, don't, I think it was for today. It was either yesterday or for today. They put the call out the day before. 
I thought, come on, you've got to give these people a chance to get there. A lot of these people would love to come over there and help. These big hikers and whatever who climb these mountains and everything. You know what I mean? But you've got to give them more than a flipping day. You need to say, right, on this day, in five days' time, we're going to be doing a big search. We want qualified professionals who can come here and help. Right? All across the world. Anyone. Australia. Anyone from Europe. England. Ireland. Scotland. But you've got to give them more than a flipping day. Christ's sake. So, they had a small turnout, which is a shame, because it doesn't matter what we think about Jay Slater, about his past, we've all got a past, we've all got a past. Let those who have, who have not seen cast the first stone. Those who have not seen cast the first stone. Now, I'm not religious, but that's just something that sticks in my head. You know what I mean? Those who have seen, for those who have seen, cast the first stone, or something like that. And I can tell you, some of, there isn't one person, unless you're a baby, 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 or a small child, you've seen, you've done something in your past. That you're not happy with or you're not proud of. Right, so I'm not going to have a go at Jay. No more. No more. <laughs> and if you believe that, then you believe I've just seen three pigs fly past my window, do a jig, and then carry on flying. <laughs> no. I won't go on about his past, but I will not stop looking into what what happened what truly happened the truth not these stupid little stories that are coming out no no it's like now he's apparently his best friend who he is with has now just come out the other day was it yesterday i can't remember and gave an interview and he only came out because Jay's mother asked him to. He's had nearly two weeks to get his story straight. Two weeks nearly. Right, say so ten days. He's had nine, ten days to get his story straight. So then he comes out and gives this interview where apparently he was the last one who did, had a video call with Jay on the day he went missing. And he said he saw him, his feet, and he was going down like a gravel path, right? And then he heard him slipping. He heard him slipping and then he said, I'll phone you back. And he said he must have been getting, having, having another phone call coming. And I think I know who that phone call was from. Because remember J uh, Lucy May, who said he phoned her? No. No. She phoned him. She phoned him. And um, I think it was her phoning him. But why would he go, I away from where we're supposed to be going, and B, head down a gravel-flipping ravine. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. I do believe, I don't believe he was kidnapped. I don't. I really don't. I think he's gone into hiding. Or tried to go into hiding and has since unfortunately passed away because he's had no water and no food and dehydration and all that is setting. 
So that's possible that has happened. Hold on, I'm trying to light my candle and it won't fucking light. I hate candles that don't light. And I love my candles. <laughs> it's better to go. I've even brought, went out and brought these longer matches so that I can get into the flipping shop and it's not lighting now. Right? And anyway, so apparently his friends has come out and given this interview. Do you believe it? Have you seen that interview? I have. And I think it's a bit of a... You're joking, it's gone out again. I'll give up. Right? I think it's a bit of a... Oh, I will just tell him that you did a video call with him. And tell him, and just make up a story that you see him going down some gravel path and that he was sliding, and then that he had to phone you back. Right? Why now? Why come out now and give that story out? That doesn't make any sense. Why didn't he say the first day? Well, I spoke to him on a video call. What was the harm in him saying? I spoke to him on a video call. Right? I'm not going to give up with this candle. I'm going to keep persevering. If I use all my flipping matches up, I will persevere with this fucking candle. So why now? Oh, God. Oh, come on, Candor. Come on. You know what, I'll give up. I really do. Fucking hate candles. Not. Anyway. So that is... A bit iffy to me. I don't understand why he didn't come out the first day. Like Lucy did, she got her story straight within hours. But then, since then, we've been able to pick her story apart little by little. Little by little. Apparently, she left early. Alone. Because she was tired from the weekend. She's a 19-year-old girl. He does this for a living. And she was tired. No, she wasn't going home really. And then I was watching that video, that clip again, the other night. And who did I see? Jay with. Just before I turned around and walked out of the club with those guys. Oh, yeah. Let me stop and think. What's her name again? Lucy May. So that's been picked apart there. So why isn't she telling the truth? Is she scared she's going to get arrested? Well, love, we all know you're a, um, a mule. You may not bring it in from one country to another, but you are being, you are going to all these luxurious places, and a lot of them are known for their drugs. Oh, sorry, D U R G S. Sorry, I shouldn't say that word. Right. And we all know you get paid big money for it. Because, and as I said, unless you're a YouTuber, and you've got one hell of a big channel, one hell of a big channel, how can you afford to go to all these countries? One a month. Apart from, I noticed she didn't go to March, April and May. March, April and May, she did not go anywhere. But January, February, June, July, this was last year, by the way, June, July, August, September, October, November. And I think, I'm not sure if she went anywhere in December. And some months, she went away twice. So how can a 19-year-old afford that? I know when I was 19, I couldn't afford that. Um, you know what I mean? And I was on a fairly good, well-paid well -paid job then. 
And I couldn't afford to go. But then again, I was working, so I couldn't afford to go away two weeks at a time a month or a week time every month. So, we know she's a mule, and she always will be, right? Can everyone on X please show you lo some love for this video? If you haven't already, please do so. And on YouTube, can you please hit that like button if you hear what you like and see? Right. Now... Oh, God. I hate going on this site. I really do. I don't even know why I've got a TikTok account. I really don't. Because I don't like it. But on cases like this, this like, it all depends on certain cases. Like some cases, it might be all over X. On other cases, it might be all over Instagram. And other cases, it might be all over Facebook or YouTube or TikTok. Right? I don't like doing short videos. I'm sorry. I can't get everything I want to say. In, say, in what? A five, ten minute video? Not happening. I've tried. I've tried and I can't do it. Right. Uh, one day ago, right? Uh -huh. What's this got? What's this? What's it called? Down the Rapids, right? This is the guy I'm gonna follow him. This is the guy who went over from Scotland. Right, paying his own money. Now, I've just put a comment on one of the news channels, comments, and I said, rather than the mother withdraw money to pay for family and friends to come over and to sit there and do so all, why doesn't she pay for these qualified people who know, the, know how to work the mountains, walk the mountains and all that? Why didn't she pay for them to come over, for their lodgings, for their flights, for their foods and fluid? They're the ones out there, boots on the ground. Right. So, well, that was it. He's raising money for the mountain rescue people in Scotland. I just want to take my name off. What's that for? I'm going to have to watch some of these of these because I thought, oh, here we go. We just got another TikToker. You know what I mean? But he is and he is he is fully trained to do what he does. You know what I mean? And um, I'm going to share this page with you. So please, if you're on TikTok. Go and follow him. Just go down the rapids, it says. At down the rapids. Official page. Okay? I will put the link to his page in my description. And um, he's been out there searching while helping with the search. So, and he's had to pay his own flight over there. He had to pay an extra £70 because he booked a flight over in the afternoon because he went on Google and it just showed the first flight out was the next day in the afternoon. And when he gets to the airport, he's seen there was another flight in the morning. So he managed to get it changed over so he could get that earlier flight, but he had to pay an extra £70. Pounds. So why isn't 
the mother, Jay's mother, helping him. It just really gets my back up. That she's paying for family or friends to come over to support her. She's not even going out putting flyers out. His father has. His father's been out there putting flyers out. She hasn't. Oh, I can't go. I couldn't bear to see where, in case of his body was there. You know, oh, give us a break, love. You're his mother. Get off your backside and get out there and start putting flyers out. You don't even have to go up into the mountains to do that. Put the flyers out. Right? And she's saying, like, there's talking to this guy. So he's, he's got contacts, right? And um, he's been able to get his contacts in touch with his contacts who work in media and all that lot. So they've been pump pushing it out there as well. So it's... But what has what has the mother actually done? Can anyone sh sh tell me? I'll find the link if I can, but I can't find nothing about what the mother who gave birth to this lad nineteen years ago has done to help raise awareness and to help find her son. Me, I'd get my fucking boots on. I'd be climbing them mountains. I don't care. I'd be up in them mountains. I'd have some trousers on and whatever. So I wouldn't be going up in shorts. I'd have me some, like, proper climbing trousers or something. I'd buy this stuff. I would be up in them mountains. If I come across my son, at least I know he's been found. You know what I mean? I could not sit in a room while knowing others are out there in that heat. In And in the one video I was watching, it showed how it was lovely one minute, then all of a sudden these clouds come over and you couldn't see anything. And it was just too wet. He said he's used to that weather because he's from the UK. Right? So he's used to that weather and he was up in Scotland where there was snow and everything. Right? So he said, but I'm not doing it on my own. I'm not going down there on my own. So he wouldn't do it. I don't blame him. I really don't. And he's struggling as well because not many shops are open in the morning. Right? And is struggling to find the right food to eat and the right supplements like he needs to have on him, uh, the right like uh, fruit and water. For when he goes out on his hikes, he's struggling to find shops open in the morning to buy that stuff. He's having to buy it all himself as well. And he won't have money off people. Now, what's her name? What's the mother's name? I don't know. The mother, help this guy out. Come on. You've just withdrawn a big lump of that money out of that. Go fund me. Don't send, don't call for family, friends, neighbours, Tom, Dick, Harry to come over just so they can have a nice little holiday. <coughs> help these people out. Apparently, she said a portion of it, so much of it is going to these uh, mountain rescue people. What about, what about these individuals who you've been talking to? And you said, okay, I can come over, I will help. What about him, this guy here? He was talking to him. You didn't even arrange any uh, help for when he got over in Tenerife. Luckily, someone who watches his page follows him, seeing him, and I think he's the guy 
who owns the taxi, the car hire place, he came out and picked him up. You know what I mean? Hmm. So where are these people who have asked him to come over and help with the search? Where are they? Because they're not out there with him. They're not helping him fund his... Uh, like the one place, they finally found one place which is very local to where he's searching. So he isn't having to travel for hours and hours each day. Uh, or wait on people to give him a lift. You know what I mean? Um, he has been getting a lot of lifts off a lot of people. But a lot of the time he's been walking as well. Or getting buses. That can take up to two hours or more to get him where he wants. But... Found, he found this nice little place and he's got, he said, it's like, he said, I'm not used to this. He said, the hostels are like horrible. But the one hostel he's in, he was in, was really nice, really, really nice. But then this guy found him this other place for him to stay. And it had his own bedroom, his own kitchen, his own bathroom. And he's going, I'm not used to this. All right, so, so right, we are going to look at some of these, okay, if you don't mind. I just don't know when I was doing it. I'm trying to get in order, you know what I mean? Right. See, I've watched it to, I think, day five on TV. Yeah, I've seen that one. I've seen the weather change. So we'll go to this one. So, guys, we're just up in the mountains at the moment. We've got the police over here. Um, we've got the drone flies as well. They've got some really big drones. They're just setting them all up, setting up the home points, testing the wind speed. We've got Sky News as well, um, which is really, really cool. Um, I just want to show you. I don't need you some, if you can see the comments. What I'm going to do, I am going to take myself sort of like, not off the screen, but hide myself so that you get the full screen. And you can see the comment there. It says... Where is this boy's family? Why are they not there? I don't get it. It's got 681 likes or hearts or whatever, and 82 replies. And let's have a look at some of these replies. I know the father's out there doing what he can, but the mother, she's not even stepped out of that hotel room, is she? Come on. Family liaison tells him not to show too much emotion in appeals and to not go looking and leave it to the... Yes, I can understand that. But what's stopping them getting off their backside, putting their vodka and orange down or gin and orange or whatever they're drinking and getting out there and getting flyers pinned up everywhere? What's stopping them from going on these interviews on news TVs? She's done one maybe two at the very beginning. What's stopping her? She wants publicity. She needs to get her ass off that sofa and get out there and drag all her friends and family that she's brought over or bringing over for support. Drag all them out there as well. Get them out there on the streets, pounding them streets, getting the flyers out there. You don't know if someone might have seen him. You don't know. We don't know anything. All we know is he went to this NRG or whatever it's called festival. He went to it like an after night, after party event. He left there. His friends, oh, yeah, his darling friends, left him. He then left with two UK guys to go to this 
Airbnb in Masca. He gets up the next morning and started to walk home, but went the wrong way. Hmm. Makes sense. Make that make sense. Because it's not stupid. He knows he has to go down that road and not up the hill. It's not stupid. So why was he going up the hill? No, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, let's see what else. Let's say. I've got a feeling today's the day he will be found. That was three days ago. It's crazy. The boys' family are nowhere to be seen. No, they're sitting in the bar. They're sitting in the bar of the hotel. Apparently, people have seen him watching the Euros yesterday. It's on the news. No, it could be any lag. There's a lot of lags with the same hairstyles. Right. He, he can't be in the mountain still, it's been days. He's definitely been taken out of mountain or something, but doesn't make sense at all. Do they believe that he hasn't left the mountain? Well, as I said, if he was, if he did decide to cut down the side of this mountain, thinking, oh, I can cut this corner off, I can go down here, Right? If he had decided to do that, he could have slipped. He could have cut himself. He said he cut himself, apparently on the phone call with Lucy May. So he could have slipped, he could have hurt himself, he could be injured somewhere. And if that's the case, he could be dead now. Been lying there for, what, 12 days and all that heat and then all them cold nights. He's dead. Sorry. D-E-A-D -E as a dodo. Right. Thermal detector. Yes, they have thermally heat things on. Why do you think he's on the mountain still? I just don't get it how and why he goes so far away from the main road. It makes no sense. Exactly, it doesn't. Why climb up a flipping hill? To have to go down the flipping hill the next, the other side. Oh, oh, and lose his phone. Right? <laughs> and wonder where. Where was he going from there? Right. I don't think he's in, in the mountains, but he not have been found by him. Possibly not, because it's a, God, it's, it's a big area. Right, so we're going to watch this, okay? I'll show you guys the drains. They're really, really big. They are big. Proper professional drains, proper cameras. Now, the reason they haven't been able to fly these the last few days is because it's been way too windy. Um, but they've just checked the wind speed, so I'm guessing it's a lot better right now, guys. But um, really, really interesting. Hopefully, this will bring some sort of good results in, guys. Um, I know right now they're going to be flying all the way down here towards Ravine. Now, I've already been down there today, but it kind of comes to like a dead end. I've just heard as well uh, from the news, guys. It's and if the manage gets far down as possible, but uh, we will let the guy in with him now. There we go, up we go, up we go. My internet's playing up, so if I disappear, right back. Sometimes I can get low internet. Me up my screaming gap. And out she goes. Out she goes.
Hopefully and they can get loading helicopters as well. Okay, now they're and they have cameras the on. Up. This is a really, really big drone. And it's absolutely huge. Got to make sure we're standing back for this one, guys. Our, uh, our police really in, interesting. in Ben. Uh, you see this guy. I think they're just um, switching it on. Now that is a big drone. That's a very, very big drone. Our guy over here is flying it. Absolute madness, absolute madness. I'm sorry, my internet is crap. So man. Guys, we're just up in the mountains at the moment. We've got the police over here. Uh, and we've got oh, the drone flies as well. They've got some really big drones. They're just setting them all up, yep. setting up the home. Yep. Point, I'm testing one on speed. We've got Sky News as well. Um, which is really really cool um, i just want to show you guys the drone. Seen that. A really really let's stop that one <laughs> right them are the sort of drones i was watching uh a program the other day on youtube and it was about the british police and their drones it wasn't about the police force in particular it was about the police that use the drones and they have two types they have a smaller one and a larger one the smaller one is quieter. So if they're flying over houses and they don't want people to know they are there, they use the smaller one. <laughs> and they can tell the police on the ground. Like they could be at the back of the house when the police are at the front. And they can tell the police, is out the back door, is jumping the fence, is here, is there, you know what I mean? They even help the fire brigade uh with spotting where they need to start to put the fire out because it's no use saying oh we'll just start here in the middle because the fire could have spread and they wouldn't be able to see so with the camera on this they can get the infrared and they can see where the hot spots are okay so they do all that sort of thing and they can search in the they can get lower down and go in the, by the bushes and find them, each sea come out and everything. It was really, really interesting watching that. Right, let's give another one. I was just so, I just thought, you know what, this is just another TikToker, but he isn't. What have we found? Let's have a look at this one. So guys, we were just going to the top of the mountain. However, loads of police have come past us. And I've been really lucky. Sky News have gave me a lift um, up here. And I just want to see what's going on because literally they have found something. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, but there's loads of police. There's loads of police. Oh, uh, this is the other day when they said, have they found your body? Because there's a white tent up and things like that. You know, if it was Jay, I think they would have said. So it wasn't Jay. Oh, uh, and you know the Scottish guy they found on the mountains? He wasn't lost just because some locals saw him go off on his hike and then didn't see him come back like within an hour or two they reported him as missing he wasn't lost he was having a little sit down and he was just making his way back out of the area where he was hiking he wasn't lost Sake. They're pointing down. They've obviously found something that's quite interesting. So I am going to go have a little investigate and see what's happening. We've got all the police. All the police. Two cars. Uh, from, Three cars. Uh, Canaria and a guard of civil. Um, and absolutely everyone. Absolutely everyone. We've got it's three cars. Madness. Complete madness. Absolutely Three cars. Madness. That's not everyone. It might be over there though. Hey guys, are you with Mountain Rescue at all? Are you with Mountain Rescue? Uh, Mountain Rescue? Uh, Search. Uh, do you repeat, please? Uh, Mountain Rescue. Uh, never heard. <laughs> Mountain Rescue? Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. From England. Yeah, we're not in England. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye.
Oh, that's why I can get lost. <laughs> So guys, we're just going to the top of the mountain. Right. So they're only the very short clips he does. But he puts them on a YouTube channel there eh? and he puts them all together. So guys, I've seen something pretty dodgy. I'm going to head down now. I'm hoping I can make it. Have a look at this. It's like a huge, huge drop um, that goes down here. I just want to see. And what's actually at the bottom of this, because this could be um, a way that someone may think that it's a quick way to the beach, but this is so, so sketchy, guys. So, so sketchy. So, so steep. The camera is not doing this place justice at all. It never does. It never does. But let's just have a little look down here. It may be nothing, but you know, it is a place where the drones um, won't pick up on stuff unless they're using thermal. So, yeah, not too much. Watch down here, guys. Quite dirty, quite dry. Watch the snakes. The sorts of places that we need to be checking absolutely every. Now, the problem with places like this, it's very easy to slip. There's loose rock everywhere. And the problem is, guys, if you slip and you bang your head or something, and you're going to be unconscious, you're not going to be able to get out. And so I'm just checking all the rocky places. Even though it may seem that someone may not be down here, there's a good chance this is where, um, this is where people end up sometimes, guys. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we're going to find Jay soon. Big love. So guys, I've seen something pretty dodgy. I'm going to head down now. I'm hoping I can Ma make it. Stop. Right. So that is like what he's doing. And I just, I thought, well, why are you filming this? You know what I mean? And I can understand why he's filming it because if he has an accident and he's filming it, at least then people who are watching can get in touch with whoever and say, look, this guy was looking in this area. He's had an accident, he can't walk, he can't move. Can you get someone there now? You know what I mean? So they can get someone to him. But I'm sure if he thought he found a body, he'd turn his he wouldn't film, he'd turn his camera off. Right. Right, conquering the rich. Yeah, they must be looking at the mountains that head down to the... So guys, I've managed to get onto the ridge. I've worked out a little plan I'm going to do tomorrow. Now, I'm going to have an early night tonight, try wake up at six and do the whole thing when it's really, really cool. Look at this loose rock. Prime example. Prime example. Yeah. Imagine if you slipped, you fell down, it hits you in the head. Major, major hazards in these mountains, guys. This is a place where you people do not come. Yeah. This is mad, this is mad. The only reason why I'm coming here is because I need to find an easy way to access the beach without ropes. I can just about manage this ridge. I've, I've, uh, let me just go up here, guys. Oh, Jesus, this is bad. Oh. Oh. Christ. Christ, guys, this is mad. Whew. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I've managed to, um, Work out a little route for tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, try having an early night. Oh God. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you the train. It's absolutely mad. Now, Jay probably didn't come down this way, but I just need to get to the beach, guys. And although this is 100% a crazy, crazy, dangerous route, doing all of this, guys, it's 100 million times easier than what I was doing yesterday. Literally coming down all here, all the way down to the beach. It's huge rocks. What huge, beach? huge rocks, twice the size of me. Constantly down, you're climbing, you're jumping, it's a madness down there. So although this is super hazardous, it's still a million times safer than, than what I was doing yesterday. So just a little update, guys. Now one thing I've really Right. Now what beaches are they on about? Because I keep hearing them talk about beaches. How you could have been going down the mountain side, heading towards perhaps to seeing the beach and you're taking down there. So, let's have a look. I am... Um... Right. 
Um, let's get rid of this bit here. Don't need that. Don't need that either. So that can go. So where's the beach from there? Right? Where's the flipping beach? Where are they looking? You know what I mean? Is these the rocks they're looking at now, round here? Being as they're saying they're trying to get to the beach. Because I heard someone uh, mention that perhaps he saw the beach and he thought he could get down there for, by going through the rocks. You know what I mean? But why would you try even try and get down there? So I don't understand. The beaches are all here, round this way. And he's up here. He's up here. So, what beach would you be looking at to think he could get down to it? You know what I mean? I just don't understand what they're wrong about trying to get down to the beach. But hopefully, if, if I carry on watching his, his little TikToks, I might actually come across the one where he just get down to the beach. But I don't think, personally, that he is I alive. And if he, if he's alive, he's not on the mountains. If he's alive, he's not in the mountains. Put it that way. And I swear to God, if I was his mother, if I was his father, I'd kick the living daylights out of him. I really would. You know what I mean? All this money being spent on his searching, he could turn up alive. Oh, I was just down the road there. Yeah, right. No, I don't think he's alive. Like, you hear people saying, well, perhaps he was kidnapped because of a D-U-R-G-S that he lost. Right? I'm sorry, but these, these cartels or whoever you call them, whatever they call them, it's not going to keep waiting and waiting. They raised 30000 in, what, a matter of three, four days? They had the money then to pay the car tab, if it was. You know what I mean? So, I don't believe he was kidnapped. Plus, you know what else has sort of annoyed me? Is the police over there has said that the two UK guys that he was with, are not consequential to the case. Meaning they've got nothing to add to this case. They've got nothing to it. Uh, uh, hold on. Was these two guys not the last two guys to actually see him, be with him, drive him from wherever to that Airbnb? They've got a lot to do with this. So why have the Spanish police disregarded them and let them come home? And now, these two guys are not going to come forward. They're not going to come forward. I don't even think Lucy May is over there. I believe she's flown out somewhere. Because she's got to earn her money. She's got to keep working. She's got to distance herself from this. Because it's not looking good for her if she keeps harking on about it. And I'm going to show you the interview. Um, is it on here? I don't know if it's on TikTok. 
Fuck. Oh no, breaking news. When was this? Two days ago. Breaking news. Missing teen Jay Slater has been found 10 miles from last location on Google Maps. Yeah, right. Are they for it real? Are they for real? Two days ago. Isn't that when um, they said uh, the police were all there, like video we've just watched? And he said it looked like the fans, mate. Yeah. I'm going to say it, folks. Nah. Right. Watch closely. You can see he gets stabbed and can he lose his eye. I thought he wasn't going to get stabbed. Hmm, let's see this one, shall we, everyone? Watch closely. Let's watch that again. You see anyone getting stuck? Heard the name broken from one side. Now, if this is true, right, this is to be said as true. Yeah, there's a comment here, it's clear. It's unclear who was stabbed. Person walking or person on, sta or on sand. Now, if that is the case, right, Who did that woman speak to then, in the morning? Perhaps it was some other, some other young lad who she thought looked like Jay. You know what I mean? She definitely, I believe it, I definitely believe she spoke to someone. Right? But... If we are to believe this, now, that was, there's a video of an argument with her and Jay, and you could see it, but you couldn't see nothing. Now, this is being closed up, closer up. Watch closely. You can see he gets stabbed, and can he lose his sight? I thought he wasn't going to get stabbed. He got stabbed. Why did that person move the flipping camera? If I see something going on, I'm not going to move my camera away from me. I'll be, ooh, what's going on over there? That's easy. Just check his friend Brad's body. Is there any stab wounds on his legs or anywhere on his body? Anywhere? Just check. So, hold on, hold on, be right back. So, I could do my cats, and I think 
I was in my bedroom and I'm fed up of losing feathers off my lampshade. Right? So, I heard I told you this would happen. Give, gave me chills. These cameras can't be rewinded. As the company said, they can't record. Hmm. You can't see anything. No, you can see someone like hobbling away. Right, they are bouncing ready or a fight or a fight. Two people there. I wish you didn't move the fluffing camp. Yeah, now come on. If you watch, if you see some happening, are you gonna? Oh, we'll just film over here where there's nothing happening. No, you're gonna have your camera. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this. Totally agree with that one. So, let's just watch this one again. Come on. Get your camera over there, you stupid look. Now, I could imagine that, right, they've got into a fight on the beach and a knife was used, you know what I mean? And her sitting there with Jay on the beach saying, I'm sorry Jay, I'm sorry Jay, because, hold on, there is, I'll get the other uh, one up. Oh God! Right, uh, uh, this idea has got a lot to say. Is oh God! I bet I won't be able to find it now. Is this it? No, I don't even know what we're looking at on that one. Oh, where is it? Come on, come on, come on! I know I had it the other day. I just didn't play it. What's this one? That's it. That was the one. Right. Now that was the first Georgia that came out. And then we've just got this one that I've just played. So, 
Could there be a fight between him and his friends? Right? Uh, uh, it's that makes more sense to me than him being up in the hills. To be honest with you, because isn't it funny how she said she left early, right? But we're seeing her out there, we're seeing him, we're seeing her there with him. And then when they come out with his friends, his friends had left him. Why would you leave a friend behind? You go out somewhere with a friend, you come back with your friends. Yeah? You don't leave them behind. So this, that, a possible fight on the beach, maybe. It's more possible, I think. But, um, I don't think, I think that woman who spoke to the guy was another guy. He looked very similar. Because you look, they all look the same, don't they? Look at his friend here. He looks the same. Right? They all look the same. They've all got the same haircuts. Okay, some might be wavier. Some might be a little bit of curling. Some might be straighter. You know what I mean? But they've all got the same sort of haircuts. So... Possible argument or fight on the beach and a knife is used, that I could believe. And by them saying, oh, we went off with two, what's your name, guys? Two guys from the UK, from, from the UK. They could just be her alibi. Look, we'll say he was with us. You know what I mean? And that he left early. He left at 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll just say that. That's taken the focus away from where they should be looking, which should be looking more down by the beach, the caves and the rocks and whatever down that way. Could they have hit his body on... Hold on, let's go into Google Maps. Where was it they was um, supposed to be? This is where they said his phone last pinged. Now, for all we know, these two guys that come up here could have took his phone and put his phone down there. That was in a car. Right? And all this about getting a video call and all this lot could be loads of crap. Where was he supposed to be? Um, oh, let's just see. Where? Let's see what it's going to be. Ooh. Right. Okay, where was he
Oh, come on, man. <sighs> Let's have a look, see if I can find this place. Uh, let's share this map so you can all see what I'm doing. Ah, right. This is where the festival was held here. Right. So let's just have a look down here. Right. Where's the bitches? Come on, bitchy bitches. Is that like the bitches there? Right, now let's have a look. Because if something happened on that, on a beach, right? They could have put him out in the water. They could have, could have just put his body in the water and let it float away. Because don't forget, she didn't report him missing until the afternoon the following day. Not in the morning at 9 o'clock, like she said. She's saying that because she said the first time she phoned up, they hung up on her. Well, they've got their records and they showed that she, no phone calls came in at that time, but I did receive a phone call off her at another time later on in the day. So, do you think we should be looking around these places? You know what I mean? Around these rocks and wherever. So, That definitely makes more sense to me. Slot 14, what have you got to say to me? Silver lining. Right? Glad to have you here. Over 20 family and friends are there and they aren't even searching. No, this is what I said. Why hasn't she helped that, that guy who's out there? What's his name now? Um... Oh God, where was it? Where's my uh, TikTok? Right? Where, where was it? Where's the guy who's out there? This guy. Hold on, I'll share the time. This guy. Why don't they give him some money? Why haven't they paid for his flight over there? His accommodation. His sleep. Even I'm not joking. He's saying in one of his, I mean, one of his TikTok when he got there. He had no help of anyone. He was literally on his own, right? He didn't know where the search was, so he didn't know. He'd heard the search had gone down south, but he didn't want to stay down south if the search was up north, right? So he didn't know where there was. Um, he was trying to sort out some transport to get up to the main area where the, they were staying in the first place and luckily some guy who went hires cars out followed follows him and he came and picked him up and took him up to the mountains right and but this guy even had to pay 70 pounds extra because when he booked his flight 
Vaj. Oh, God, it's streaming up. Do my heading out. When you booked this flight on Google, it only showed an afternoon flight. But when you got to the airport, it came up that there was a, an earlier flight in the morning. So we had to pay an extra £70 to get that transferred over. Right? So an extra £70 on the cost of his flight. He gets here, he had no way, no transport, nothing. He then goes up to the mountains and has a look around with this guy. And then he goes to a hostel and he was there like an hour. And he went to the bathroom and locked the door. And this one's guy gone. Because he's acting all crazy, this one guy in there was. And he said, you don't have to have to lock the door. I don't bite. Right, or something like that. And he said, I come out of that bathroom, got my stuff, and went back over to wherever the management was for this hostel, and handed my keys in. He said, I can't stay there. And he said, why? And he told him. So they put him in another part, another part of another hostel. Right? Which wasn't so great, but it's better. It wasn't with that crazy guy. And then the next day, he literally had no sleep. He goes out the next day on this search and he had to get buses there but then people was giving him lifts were coming along and seeing him and picking him up and giving him lifts which was great right um what else then finally he got a hostel and it was a really nice hostel right but then this other guy got in touch with him and said he found him a room, right? It's his own room with his own kitchen, own bathroom, everything. But it's something like 45 euros a night. 45 euros a night. Now, why can't she pay for him to be in a hotel somewhere and have him transported up to the mountains? He's the one out there risking his life for her son. And now, after I've just seen that video, I don't know if you've just seen that video on the beach, on the TikTok video, I believe that, even though you can't really make out who it is, but you can hear the voice, her voice. You can hear her voice, right? And you can see someone kneeling on the beach, and then you can see someone hobbling around. Yeah? So, was there a fight on the beach and did he get stabbed? And that's what we heard is, Jay, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Why? And I think they made up this, concocted, concocted this plan up. These two guys who live up in the Airbnb, they know that she knows these two guys, I think. And they're the ones who took his phone he took it and just dropped it over there. Those in a the car, they could get up there easily. Right? Dropped his phone in a dirt track, like she said. And um, even though I don't think they found his phone yet. Then the woman the next day who when she spoke to someone, perhaps she did speak to her lad, but it probably wasn't Jay. It's probably another lad who looked very similar to Jay. Right? And then, well, we know it could have been his friend, Brad. That makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Brad being up there. Right? We don't know. But I don't think he's up in them mountains. And that is their reason. They've got the focus away from where they should be looking. They've got the focus up in the mountains. Not on the beach and round by the rocks and caves round there. They've not got the focus there. I think they need to put the search effort down on the beach and the rocks and the caves and whatever around that area. 
I really do. And I think if his body is found in the mountains, then possibly the two UK guys who had the car took him up there and dumped his body there. And this phone call, video call, why has he just come out now saying, I've got... Because apparently Brad's mum, uh, Jay's mum told him to speak. Speak out. Why after what? Ten days was this? Why didn't he say, well, I spoke to Brad, uh, Jay in the morning, and he did, we did a video call, and I seen him sleeping on some, like, gravel or rocks or something. Why didn't he say that then? Why has he come out now? Is it to confirm, to reconfirm, is it to reconfirm he's in the mountains? To keep the, the, the search from looking down by the beaches? Yeah, but as, that's right, Silver Lining. If, if I, I said the other day to myself, he has not been kidnapped because these cartel people, or whoever they are, I'm not going to wait around 10, 11, 12 or more days for you to pay them the money. They're not. They'll give you a few days, maybe, at the very most. She raised 30000 in, what, three, four days? She had the money to pay them if that was the case. And they kind of, unless, and not like, unless they kept him in a room, blindfolded, right? So he didn't see any faces or anything. They're not going to keep him alive. Because he can talk. So I don't think he was kidnapped. I think this incident on, there's more of an incident on this beach than anything else. I'll go on, let's try and find this again. TikTok, where are you there? Here we go, I'm going to pull it up again. I could just kick the ass of this guy there with the camera. Why did you move his I'm around? You can't see him get stabbed though. You don't see him get stabbed, so that's a bit of a click back. I hate people who do that. Wasting my time. Just why didn't they keep the camera? It's only 22 seconds long. Are you telling me you couldn't wait another 10 seconds before moving your camera? Why didn't they keep the camera on them? I think the friend, Lucy May, she's a mule. She may I may not be one of these that carries the drugs into countries, but she's a mule, right? She goes to places and they give her the, dr the drugs, right? Oh, God. Let's try and get that thing. Yeah, you want that one. This one. Right? On the phone and he goes, so I'm not walking down all around that road and he's gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big drop, it's just a little tiny little drop and he's going down there. He goes, I'll ring you back, I'll ring you back because I think someone else was ringing him. And he'll, he'll probably, if you're thinking like me, he would have went back up and started walking around the path again. He wouldn't have gone all that way down there. So you said that you could see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill, like you could hear the rocks. Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road because you mm -hmm. could hear like, if you, when you walk on gravel or whatever it is, you can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's storms. Were you concerned at that point? 
and not at the time, no, because we were both like laughing about it. I think he said, "Look where I am." But we just, mate, I just come out of a festival myself because he were, he didn't seem concerned on the phone until we knew how far away we were. Yeah. I said, "Put your location on." He said, "And I would a fifty-minute drive or a fourteen-hour walk." I don't know if it's accurate or not. Yeah. So I said to him, "Well, it's only a fifteen-minute drive. Get a taxi." On the phone, and he goes, "I'm not walking down all around that road." And he's gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big drop, just a little tiny little drop. He's going down there. He goes, "I'll ring you back. I'll ring you back." I think someone else was ringing him. And he'll get you probably if. If you're thinking like me, you would have went back up and started walking on the path again. You wouldn't have gone all that way down there. That, so you that. said oh, that you could uh, see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill. Like you could hear the road. Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road. Because you could hear like... He... Stop the lies! Stop the fucking lies! I am so sick and tired of people who think they can come on a TikTok, on a YouTube, on Facebook, on any video because about a missing person and talk utter crap. My BS monitor has just gone over a hundred and it's, I think it's busted. Because why wait 10 days? Oh. Was you healing from a, uh, an injury, possibly? Did he injure you, Brad? Did you get into a fight with him, Brad, on the beach? Because, come on, you go to a music festival, right? You're with each other all the time, yeah? All the time you're on holiday, you've been with each other. But then, on this night, Lucy May leaves early, which is... Absolute bullshit again. Oh, shit. I'm going to get a bullshit monitor made because it's going sky high again as soon as I mention her name. And then uh, he gets outside. And what do all his, his two friends do? That's with him. Oh, yeah. They leave him. They leave him as well. Why do, did you leave your friend? That, no. No. I think there was two guys in the UK who's now gone home. Right? And the chances of finding them now is zero to zero. Right? You're not gonna they're not gonna come forward now. They've left their families but they've left that behind. Oh no, we're not no. But I think there was two other lads who did have that Airbnb, right? And don't forget, what was it someone said? They heard a lot of noise coming from that Airbnb about 6am, about 5, 6am in the morning, right? Someone heard, they heard noise, a lot of loud noises coming from there. Could that have been them arguing about what happened earlier on in the evening? Hi. Because he is lying. He's lying. Now someone, I was watching another TikToker the other day, and she just like 30 minutes, lives and things like that and she said there was a guy in there in that place what well all his friends were watching jay very closely all watching him very closely right and um i don't actually knew that from that video because i couldn't see i only seen lucy may after watching about ten thousand times that I've seen that for oh there's Lucy May. The one who said left early. Yep, right. BS monitor is going up again because every time I mention her name, ooh, it goes up. Right? And now him. Him. Where's his other friend? Has he gone home? There's two friends. Where's his other friend? 
Oh, we gotta get a BS story off him as well. This is all BS. The files, the searches out there. Right? And I might even email that guy, message that guy. I say, look, I don't think he's in the mountains. Try looking around the rocks for any caves by the beaches near where they were staying. Try looking down there around the rocks. Is there any caves around there? Is there anything around there that where they could have put a body? Where a body could be. So I just say, I honestly believe he's on it. Something happened that night on a beach between him and his friends, and they've either a floated his body out, and if they have, you'll never find him. You'll never turn up. Right? Or they've hid him somewhere. Or they put him in the car with those two other UK guys who drove him up to the mountains, thrown his body out somewhere in the mountains, and hit his phone up there. I don't think they've done that. I think they maybe took his phone up that way and just dumped it. I don't think it was Jay now at that Airbnb in the morning. My focus is this lad. This lad. Right? Now, I'm going to... Hold on, let me go into my pictures. I'm going to get a side-by-side -side picture of these two put together. I can't do it at the moment. Right? Yeah, you got that lag. That's Jay Slater. Right? Yeah? That's his friend. Possibly the woman mistook him for Jay Slater. Right? It's possible. And then them two UK guys brought him back down to wherever. Yeah? And then buggered off. He's just making let him, as many people see him walking along those roads. Yeah? Because why would he go up the mountain if he had to go down the mountain? It doesn't make sense. So by going up the mountain, he's seeing people go past him, seeing people in the area. Yeah, I saw a lad. Looked very similar to Jay. He was walking up this road or I seen him going off road or whatever. You know what I mean? Trying to get this, so that people can, oh my God, Jay was up in the mountains. He's up in the mountains. Let's get a search party going. No, no, no. He's in, he's down, he's down. He's either in the ocean, they put his body in the ocean and we'll never find it, or they've hid it somewhere in a cave round that way. Right? Maybe even buried him somewhere, in a cave somewhere. But I definitely think those beaches need to be searched. Those rocks around those beaches need to be searched. And when you heard that on that video saying, get the bag, give me the bag. Meaning, give me the bag, I need the bag. So that when we do hang these bags back, we got all five bags, you know what I mean? And we got all the money. I don't think Jay did lose the bag. I don't think Jay uh, went up the mountains. I honestly believe my opinion, <laughs> and I'm going to stick to this one because I've never believed he was up in the mountains. Never. It didn't make sense. But that beach fight does. That fight on a beach, a possible fight maybe on a beach, does make more sense to me than some young lad like him who looks, could look like Jay. You know what I mean? Walking along the streets and being spotted twice by this woman. 
he had to be he had to be seen by someone so that they could say, well, I saw a lad like Jay here. I spoke to him. You know what I mean? Did she actually say it was Jay Slater? Did she confirm it was him? We don't know. I'm trying. I'm going to have to find that interview she did. Because now I'm thinking it wasn't Jay. I'm thinking it's him. I'm thinking it was him who went up the mountain, up to that Airbnb. And it was him who spoke to that woman outside. And it was him who made, went up the road, hoping that someone else would see him and others would see him. I think it was him and the two British guys that took his phone and dumped it over in that place. Right, Lucy, Lucy May couldn't. She had to get back to the hotel because she had the bags. She had the five bags. She got to make sure those five bags got handed back to the dealer, the big man. Yeah? I don't think this was anything to do with drugs. Well, I think drugs were in on it. I think they'd all been taking drugs that night. And with alcohol and the weather and the heat, it just gets to you. Don't forget they've been partying all weekend. So Lucy May, what was she doing on the beach? That's your voice. That's your fucking voice. I've never met you, but... I've heard your voice, and that was your voice. Oh, Jay, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, what am I going to do? You're sitting on a beach with Jay, who's just been possibly injured, possibly unalived, because there was a fight going on. Yeah, right. That makes more sense to me than this young lad going off into the mountains with two UK guys he didn't know and all his best friends who he went on holiday went with just left him, just left him at this outside this NRG festival, whatever, rave, whatever it was, just left him outside. They distanced themselves. Lucy May, I left early alone. Two friends that come out the club, come out the rave with him. They left him there. They went back to their hotel room. They distanced themselves. Oh my God. This is just... Oh. But it's, just, it's not just... This is just my opinion. And my opinion counts for feck all. No one's going to listen to me. And I truly believe he was on that beach that night. He didn't go up in the mountains. It wasn't him that woman saw. Because why is he talking now? When you walk walking gravel or whatever it is, you can, you know what I mean, it's storms. Were you concerned at that point? I'm not at the time, no, because we were both like laughing about it. I think he said, "Look where I am." But we we're just, man, I would just come out of a festival myself because he were, he didn't seem concerned on the phone until we knew how far away we were. Yeah. I said, "Put your location on." He said, "And I would, and that fifty-minute drive or a forty-hour walk. I don't know if it's accurate or not." Yeah. So I said to him, "Well, it's only a fifty-minute drive. Get a taxi." On the phone, and he goes, "I'm not walking." Down. I'll go. Someone put, but I reckon he walked down the rapids TikTok and because he found blood on the rocks, he's, he's now made this up. Send everyone on a wild goose chase so they don't find out the truth. How true you are. So why did they wait 12 days before coming forward? Lace, Lucy and Brad need to tell the truth. Yep. Why is this only coming out now though? 
Yes, we all want to know that one. 3,241 people want to know that one. I'm assuming the police knew this information, but they only know now. If they only now let Brad speak about it publicly, if he had, if he had kept this from them, the police would... Well, I'm going to see if I can get this to go. Oh, the police would be, be hella suspicious of him. I'm suspicious of him. Also, I don't understand how at 8 a.m. Brad was getting out. Yes! Yes, you heard him say it. We're listening again. Got over on that road and gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big drop, just a little tiny little drop. He's going down there. He goes, I'll ring you back, I'll ring you back. I think someone else was ringing him. And he'll get you probably, if, if thinking like me, you would have went back up and started walking around the path again. He wouldn't have gone all that way down there. So you said that you could see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill. Like you could hear the ropes. Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road. Because you could hear like, if, when you walk on gravel or whatever it is, you can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's stones. Were you concerned at that point? And not at the time, no, because we were both like laughing about it. I think he said, "Look where I am." Like we just, mate, I've just come out of a festival myself because he were. I've just come out of a festival myself, and yet Jay Slater is phoning him at eight a.m. in the morning. But yes, monitor has just pinged and gone out the fucking window. Do they think, do these people, I know they're only 19, I know they're only 19, and they're probably scared as sh 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 yeah, shit, but come on, was we born yesterday? No. Have we got mud in our eyes? No. Are we fucking deaf? No. We can hear and see everything perfectly fine. And we know when people are telling BS. Because my BS monitor is fucked up completely. I swear to God. If I was over there, I'd get hold of him. I'd shake the fucking crap out of him and say, I tell the fucking truth. Tell the fucking truth. For the sake, not for his mother, because she's done so all. Oh, I can't go out there where he could be lying, where he could be lying in the ground. Oh, I can't. No, you're too concerned about when you're next gin and orange or vodka and orange or whatever you've got in your fucking orange juice is coming. That's what you're more concerned about as a mother. He should have spoke sooner. If this is the truth, why didn't he speak sooner? This is BS. Look at her face. Look at her face. It's like, really? Look at her face. It's like, really? Watch her face. I have a festival myself. Because he, were, he didn't seem concerned on the phone until we knew how far away we were. Yeah. I said, put your location on. He said, and I would, a 50 minute drive or a 14 hour walk. I don't know if it's accurate or not. Yeah. So I said to him, well, it's only a 50 minute drive, get a taxi. On the phone and he goes, I'm not walking down all around that road. And he's gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big drop, just a little tiny little drop. He's going down there. He goes, I'll ring you back, I'll ring you back. Because I think someone else was ringing him. And he'll get you probably, if, if thinking like me, he would have went back up and started walking around the path again. He wouldn't have gone all that way down there. So you said that you could see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill. Like you could hear the ropes. Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road. Because you mm -hmm. could hear like, if, when you walk on gravel or whatever it is, you can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's, it's just... Yeah, BS, BS. You, well, I'm going to find this, that rapid guy again, right? Uh, where is it? Oh God, what was his name? Just put this in a minute. Down the rapids, right? I think that's his account. 
Rồi. I need to find his account. Uh, I'm following him. Why bring up? Right, thank you. Let's see if I can find that video about him finding Lord. Uh, he come out around about day 10, yes? That lagged it. No. I think I've seen this one. So guys, while I'm in here, I'm just going to show you an example of the train Jay has possibly come through. There's definitely footsteps down here, 100%. He hasn't come down there. You're looking in the wrong place. Please go look somewhere else. I'm going to put a comment. This is his page, yeah? Yeah. Go and search the rocks. Around the beach where he was rocks around the beach in the town in the town where he was staying. I do not. No, I'm not going to say that because he's going to say, I do know he's not in the mountains. I'm just going to leave out that, right? Please. Well, what's we'll happened if I got the spelling right? You might look at it better then. <laughs> right. Post. Right, that's my comment put up for him. Hopefully, if I put enough comments upon his, all these, all these, I'm going to go through every one of them and put a comment upon them now. Please go search the beach area in the town he was staying. Please go search the beach area and the rocks where he was in the town where he was staying. I'm going to hit him like a ton of bricks. Because he is not, that. this is just them saying, because his phone pinged up there. They know, Lucy, Lucy knew, knew those two lads, two guys. Right, she knew them. Right? They're the ones who took his phone up there. They're the ones because I truly and honestly believe it was his friend. That lady saw. I really do. Right? At first I thought, you know, it's got to be Jay, it's got to be Jay. You know what I mean? This photo and this photo with the cigarettes and all that lot. But how do we know this photo was was took that day? That photo with Jay holding a cigarette on the doorstep could have been a couple of days before. He went missing on the Monday. He was reported missing on the Monday. That photo could have been took Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. You know what I mean? And those two guys that come back to the UK, I'll be surprised if they come forward. I will be absolutely gobsmacked. Right? Because he is not up there. Sorry. Anyone who thinks he's up there, that's your opinion. My opinion is, 
I'm not saying that video is Lucy. It sounds like her on the beach. What she's saying. Right, her voice, everything. Yeah. I think that is more plausible. Where two friends have had a fight. You know what it's like. I've been there. I was at a party once. All night party when I was younger. Right. And it was two brothers. And when I used to go to these parties, it was like you drop... You sleep where you drop, right? So where you where you fell on the floor, that's where you slept. Oh, we was woken up around about ooh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. It's pretty light out. Not that light, but lightish. And there's an argument going on between these two brothers. I thought, oh, no. And... Um, I finally dragged myself off, off, up off the floor, gets to the front door, and there's his two brothers outside, hammering hell out of each other. You know what I mean? And those are two brothers, and those hammering hell out of each other. So, yes, I could believe that incident with the breach. I do not believe he's up in the mountains. I do not believe he was kidnapped. But I do believe... There's a possibility something happened on that beach and they need to tell the fucking truth because I'm sorry but TikTok has got a lot to answer. Let's say YouTubers have a lot to answer to, right? No, we don't. TikTokers have a lot to answer to. People who are giving us BS have a lot to answer to. I'm sorry I seem a bit mad, but I am. Because at the end of the day, this is a 19-year-old lad whose father, father is worried sick. He just wants his son home. You're not hearing that from his mother. You're not hearing nothing from his mother. Oh, just let him go. No, you know the truth. You know what happened that night. They've told you. They've told you. Now you've gone and brought your friends, your family, your neighbours, the whole fucking neighbourhood over. Right? What for? What for? Are you there? Are they out there putting flyers out? Are they? No. They're over there. Sunning themselves, drinking sang drinking the sangria, sangria or whatever it is they have over there, vodka and tonic, gin and tonic, orange and vodka. I like my vodka and tonic and my gin and tonic. Or vodka and coke. But coke tends to kill the vodka. So I'm not too keen on having coke, coca cola with my vodka. It kills the drink. It's like having coke with a bit of water in it. Kills it. Right. So. I don't know what else. Because it's just BS. Let's just see what else it's got. I'm trying to see. Okay, so I've watched all this on TV. Like, I've watched that. Let's have a look. So guys, it's day eight for looking for missing Jay. Now, it's currently half eight in the morning. I've woken up a bit late, guys. But we're gonna head up here. We're gonna see who's up here. I'm gonna wait for someone to drive past. And I'm gonna hitchhike away up to the top, Don't blame guys. you. Don't blame um, but you. today is supposed to be really productive. Loads of people said they're coming up. <coughs> there was just a family down the bottom here. And I thought they were searching. I was like, oh, yes, you guys have come to search. And they were like, what? No. We get, so hopefully people are going to turn up, guys. Um, I've heard a few people from social media are going to fly, fly over. Um, so I know those guys are coming out. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I think it's going to be a really good, good day today. Really big team effort, guys. Let's do our best. 
Get down the beach, so then. My throat is um, really sore as well. Um, but so much love, guys. So much love. So, guys, it's day eight for looking for missing Jay. Now, it's currently half eight in the morning. I've woken up a bit. Well, plugs wasn't found on that one. Right. That's a group search. Update. Uh, oh, 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 come on. What's this one? So, guys, I've literally been waiting for absolutely ages now. This is a massive PR thing, I'm telling you now. I'm going to ask them in a second to take my name off the list. I'm just going to go down there and um, and do my own thing. I'm going to do that now, I think. Um, yeah, because there's people everywhere. Literally people everywhere, and nobody's doing anything. Hey, hey, guys, for the list, his thing, uh, it says Paul Arnott. Paul Arnott, just cross out. Take my name off. In your yeah, because I'm going here now. It's it's too busy. No, I want to I want to go search. Paul, 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 yeah. But Paul and your surname? Uh, Paul Arnott. Paul Arnott. I'm okay. going to search over here because yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Thank you, bro. So yeah, guys, I can't deal with this. This is absolutely mad. I've been up here for ages. There's people everywhere. I'm just putting it how it is. Everyone's still in their cars. It's all a big thing. It's all chat, 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 chat. I'm going out there now. I'm sick of it. I'm so stressed out. Um, I, I tell you what, I'm coming down here. I'm going to go get some food because my morning's already been wasted. Um, and then I'm going to crack on a search for Jay in the area where I think he is. I can't deal with this, guys. I've been so quiet about this now. I mean, been... you know what I mean? This is supposed to be a search for them. spending a whole, a whole morning doing feck all. So quiet about this. <coughs> <coughs> Not doing it anymore, people. I'm sick of this crap. <coughs> so, guys, I've literally been waiting. Don't for blame actually him. Ages. You know what I mean? Don't blame him. Go off and do your own. Let him know where you're going to be. Go off and do your own. <coughs> so, guys, they have started to press conference now. Everybody is kind of gathering around. Um, up here, I think they're trying to get like a nice little scenic bit in the background. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, all the photographers, they're going to make their big announcements. Time is currently 20 to 10 as well, so it's pretty um, pretty late. Ooh. I think they're standing here because they have a good, uh, good background from here, guys. But this is what's happening at the moment. Everyone was told to meet at nine. <laughs> You've got the big mountain rescue guy. He's kind of huddled at the front um, and the bomberos around him. So this guy's been out pretty much every single day. The guy with the glasses, he's in charge of the I whole uh, no mountain rescue practice. team. Um, and and uh, he's been up and down the ridges. He's done loads of different stuff. Um, he was out with the dogs as well the other day, so um, it was him who was actually out with the dogs with the guys from Madrid, uh, which is quite interesting. Yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. We'll wait and see what happens. They keep moving. I don't really get what's going on, to be honest. That call is happening. I kind of feel like just going off and starting searching. I feel like this is a massive waste of time. Yeah, it is. I feel like it's all about the press and it's not actually about searching right now, guys. Yeah. I'm not too sure how many volunteers have even turned up. I think there's only about five people. They just handed around a clipboard um, and we had to put our names down on it. And there was like five names on it. So there's like not really many people who have actually um, come, I believe. And they're all pointing. It's all for the cameras, guys. It's all for the cameras. I'm telling you now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just start saying it how it is out here, I think. I think everything's just been for the cameras. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't think anything's actually been there. Um, I'm not the only one saying this either. It's all for the cameras. It really is. It really is. That's why I've been talking about the social media presence and what I've had to be careful um but yeah you can literally see what's going on this is how it is every day no searching just people talking clumps of people talking guys it's really starting to piss me off to be fair and it really is starting to piss me off now because this is what i've actually been seeing for the last eight days clumps of people talking a couple of people from mountain rescue going out a couple of police going out and literally everyone else just standing about chatting 
I'm going to pit it out and be real. I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. And you know what? I'm kind of stressed out now, guys. I feel like just kind of going off and um, searching a different area. Really what a waste of time. What a waste of time, eh? What a waste of time, guys. It's ridiculous. This is supposed to be a search. And it's just for the press. It's literally just for the press. Not actual searches. Everyone's just here for interviews. And Absolutely mad. So now like people are just like moving. More cameras, more photos. No talk about the actual search though. Where the hell? Where is the search? This is supposed to be for search, not for cameras. This isn't a massive PR stuff. Absolutely ridiculous. Every single day it's the same out here. Every single day. All for cameras. Yeah. All for the show. This whole volunteer thing should have happened ages ago, guys. Day one, we all know it. We all know. It should have, but it shouldn't have happened up on the mountains. They put his phone up there. Right? So guys, this is probably going to be my last video before I completely run out of battery. I need every single one of you to share this. There have been loads of just giving pages, go fund me, it's all set up in my name saying that I'm going to receive the money. Guys, this is not true. This is not true at all. Nobody has contacted me, nor would I ever ask this, nor would I ever accept this from anyone, guys. Please do not donate to these. Report the hell out of these GoFundMe's. Every single one. Go on there. Every single person who's watching this, Google them. Go find them. Share the links below, guys, um, and report every single one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna report them as well, um, but I'm gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to try find a phone. And um, I've just heard as well that nowhere is actually gonna be open for phones until Monday. It's Sunday tomorrow, so everything's gonna be shut. So um, this is not not a great situation. But everybody, please share this. Report the hell out of every single one. There's loads apparently. There's about four or five. They're gonna keep getting made. Report them. Report them. Report them. Report them. Every way you possibly can, guys. So much love to everyone. Um, but yeah, drop all the links below. Hmm, I wonder who's running these fake accounts up in his name. It's 40,000 not on your for your loves. Is that why you brought all your friends over so they can open up these fake accounts? Possibly. I'm not saying you are. I'm not saying anything. Just my opinion. Right. Let's just get this off here because I can't see my comments on my phone. Right, so I'm going to leave it there because I now have a different opinion about this. I think I need to start in searching here around these beaches and these mountains, these rocky areas and these little coves all around here, possibly. There's any little curves, any little caves. Right? Anywhere that a body could be put. I'm zooming in as much as I can. Oh, okay, go a bit more. Can't go any more. Right? No. Could the body be put in somewhere like this, along the water edge, on the rocks, in the rocks? You know what I mean? Oh, my phone's just died on me. What a surprise. What a surprise. But, yeah, I would start concentrating around the CH, the beach edge. Right? Because...
he was, this is where the NRG was round here. So, I don't know. Where was the staying? Was the staying over in this place? I don't know. I'm going to have to try and find out where he was actually staying. Because there's nowhere over there to stay. So it doesn't, I don't understand why they would have somewhere like this. Tourist so attraction. Right. Oh, look. Okay. There's a beach, a beach, there's there a beach, I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, I would definitely be looking around these places, these rock formations, for any sign of a clothing, maybe, or anything. I don't think he's out in the wilderness, in the mountains. I do not. If he is, it's because someone put him there. And by the time they find him, they won't be able to tell if he got stabbed, unless there's a, a mark like a knife wound on any part of his bone or whatever. Because sometimes when you stab someone, it can catch you, your rib bone or another bone. Whatever you've got stabbed, it can catch a bone and nick the bone. So, but I seriously believe now that makes a lot more sense than being up in the mountains. Anyway, guys, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Silver Lining and Sloth, for your comments. Uh, thank you to all those on Twitter. Thank you very much for being here. Please show me some love. It all helps. And I will be back tomorrow night where I will be talking about... Yeah, this lag. Oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get this lag photo and put a side-by-side -side photo of him and his friends. I know the hair's slightly different, but when you're not, like, it's easy for someone to mistake another light. They're both young 19-year-olds. So, so I will be back tomorrow night talking about this light. So I'd just like to say thank you to everyone being here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.